Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a free sample from a film festival pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below. You'll get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. In the folder you have a couple of things. You have the license, instruction, the DRFX file and the fonts. Please make sure to install the entire font family. So select all the font and then you can just double click on it to start the installation process. Uh, it's important that you do that uh, in order to be able to see the title properly uh, in Resolve. Then you can just double click on the DRFX file it will open this window, click install, and now the title has been installed. Now, once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, down to Title, and here you can reach for Video Editor Studio, open the drop down, and here you can scroll down to Sample, or just simply look for Sample here in the search bar, and you will then be able to see all the sample that you may have from us. You can then just take it and drag it here in the timeline. Now, if we select it, we have a couple of things. First off, we have an animation in. You can choose from a bunch of different animation here, pan right, pan left, rise up, drop down, zoom in, zoom out, and none. So none, you will not have any animation. And then same thing here for animation out. By default, you don't have any animation, but you can select from the same animation down there. Right now, we're just gonna select zoom in as well. Another feature is that you can choose the animation length. So by default here, it's uh, about one second, or you can make it twice longer at uh, two, for example. That means that now the animation is gonna be twice as long as it were originally. You can just double click on any parameter to reset to the original parameter. Now let's check down the other dropdown. So here you have size and position that adjusts obviously the size and position as stated. Then you have the design color. Uh, that will change the color of the ornament right there. Then you can change as well uh, the text color right here in the drop down text, as well as the font, uh, the content of the text, the size tracking, line spacing, and this for the different individual line uh, present in that title. Now, next drop down is the shine effect control. So here you can adjust uh, the shine effect that you see going across the screen. So that little uh, gray banner. Uh, passing through you can uh, switch it for yellow for example if you want to create a more golden uh, look you can adjust the level the soft edge the width uh, the angle and you could also make it a gradient here by switching from solid color to gradient now the next drop down is glow control so you can add a glow to the title here by increasing the glow size and the overall glow of the design it can help make the logo shine and pop up a little more from your background. To help you achieve that as well, you have a shadow control right here. So to demonstrate that, I'm just gonna bring a new footage here in my timeline. We're gonna put it here in the first track and above it, we're gonna put the title. Now, as you can see, it doesn't pop very well uh, because we have quite some bright background uh, at the back and here everything is white. So to make it a bit easier to read, we could, for example, here a shadow and adjust the drop angle and to drop distance here, for example, will just uh, adjust the projection of that shadow. The drop angle here will adjust the angle of that shadow. And then the shadow strength will make it either a solid, so with like very deep black, or basically a bit less. So it's kind of like an opacity slider. Then you can adjust the blur as well. So that's gonna make the shadow diffuse or uh, very solid. So I will always recommend the shadow to be a bit diffuse so it looks natural. Already right now, as you can see, we created a lot more separation with our background. But if we want to have even more separation between the title and the background, we can just use the drop down background right here and raise the opacity from that. It will basically bring an animated background between the footage and the title. You can adjust the width and the height of that background. So here we could uh, make border around the title. We could adjust the corner radius. We could also adjust the soft edge here. So to create some sort of a mask where basically uh, now the background is affecting only the center of the image. Or we could invert that and actually create a vignette instead. Now another possibility here is perspective. So you can adjust the perspective of the title with the X, Y and Z axis. So here we could do that with the X the Y and the Z axis and we just play a bit with the perspective. For now I'm just gonna reset everything back to what it was. Here we go. And that's pretty much it for what you can do from the edit page. If you want to have more control, delete or add some stuff, you can do that by going here in the Fusion page and in the Fusion page you will have access to the entire node structure if needed. 
I hope you will enjoy this title. Uh, if you do, please feel free to click right here on check out full pack on our website. It will lead you to the webpage of this full pack that contains 10 titles to display a film festival award and that you can customize uh, as you want directly from the head page. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.